Hello fellow collectors, and welcome to Gallic Gun Toy Talk episode number 8. John, how are you this week, buddy? Yeah, hey, good, thanks. It's my birthday tomorrow, so... Oh, very yeah, good, very good. good. Week, yeah. Be some celebrating going on tomorrow, then? Nothing too fancy, but yeah. Yeah? I'll have to, have to pop round and yeah, say yeah. hello. But, um, yeah, so let's just jump into it. We've both got some uh, goodies this week. So yeah, it's been a good week. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Um, so we'll start with the uh, X-Men figures that I got this week from uh, Toys and Beyond. So uh, these nice new X-Men and these uh, retro style cards. So we've got uh, Iceman there. Um, and then John, you want to show Excuse that me. one? Yeah, I was just yawning, my bad. <laughs> uh, Storm. Yeah, so Storm there. Like, yeah, they're quite nice. That's so. actually kind of the whole reason I pre-ordered the wave was for the, mainly oh. the Storm, but... Yeah. Uh, I see, you got the whole set, I see, yeah. Yeah. Um, then we got Silver Samurai, and I just love these uh, classic then, cards. That's it, they're nice, solid, like, you know, you see me moving <coughs> it a bit, you, it doesn't bend yeah. or warp. Or... Th they, they are very, uh, very collector-inspired, uh, and the fact that they're based on the original sort yeah. of... Um, well, no, they're based on the original... The boxes are based on the original figures. That, that's what I meant. By yes. Right. Sorry, so, but, yeah, sorry like, my bad. Yeah, no, like, yeah, the old school style. Yeah. Figures. And like, I just love it. It, it just really works. Uh, I've been doing that a lot lately, like some Star Wars yeah. figures have been doing that as well. Yeah. Also, some other Legends figures. So oh, yeah. Nice. So we've got Dazzler. Uh, and then we've got, so Wolverine uh, in his like Mandrapore outfit. He's just yeah. Wolverine with like some leggings stockings over his face or something uh and then we've got cyclops from x-force i think it is or uh, just another x-men costume i'm not familiar with i think it's but the x-force it costume nice that both his faces have the the laser yeah effect one has a slot to actually put then a blast coming out where the other just has yeah. sort of glowing so should we crack these crack these open yeah i mean i uh, i think if you look have you got a razor blade I do. Because if you, yeah, I think they actually fold o open. Oh, they do. Yeah, you're right. Uh, they might not, but they might. Or they've just made it a bit weird. Alright. Let's have a look here. Because I think... Well, if I'm being honest, I probably wouldn't keep the boxes anyway. Oh yeah, I'm just curious. Like it's it's just, always good to know. You can rip one open straight away if you like. Like I just wanted to see if this opens it up. I think it's going to open up easier doing it that way. Because they are quite... Yeah, see, because then... Quite hard to then get Then you get your thumb in under there. Yeah. And you can just sort of... Do it? Yeah, I'm just trying to bring it. No, it's doable. I'm just being nice, and then your packet's still sort of intact, so. Yeah. Just pull out the bottom corner. That's not bad. Yeah, I don't keep any of my Legends boxes. Uh, I do keep a lot of boxes to a lot of stuff, uh, but Legends is not one of them. Because they always got so many in that. You yeah, just, like, yeah. It's just and a lot of people sell Legends loose, like that's not a bad exactly. um, community or no. market, should I say? No. No, agreed. So I'm really glad to finally have this storm. Now my now my Jim Lee X Men team is com finally complete. Oh, because they've never had Storm in that outfit? Or? Uh, they did one, but it's a uh, long, long time ago. Long, long time ago. So, yeah, you'd be... Oh, yeah, I think I have seen the, the figure of yours with that. Um, I don't... I don't... I've never had it. No? I think Luke might have had it, actually. Maybe, yeah. In a black suit. Oh, no, I thought I saw one in that white suit. Uh, there is one in the white suit. Um, Luke, Luke never had it, though. No, I'm saying I thought you had one in the white No, suit. no, I never had one. Um, the original one in the white suit used to go for quite a pretty penny, um, if I remember correctly. Uh, but now, this one's out, you know, that's fantastic. 
And I'll tell you what, I'm a lot happier with it in hand than from the photos I saw of it originally. The cloth fits actually nice. So yeah, like, it's cool. I do always worry with cloth because, you know, sometimes it's either 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 too heavy, like a bit of cloth, and it just doesn't work. Or, yeah, it's like really light and the same thing. It just like flops up in a direction you don't really want to. But yeah. seeing that when you, you know, just that free flow. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's quite nice. I like it. Very delicate though, like you wouldn't want to. I'm glad they put a dazzler in here because I had another dazzler that's on roller skates and I uh, got rid of it. See, this samurai guy feels a bit like cheap. Does he? Yeah, I don't know. Like, like the, uh, the, the body, like the torso looks alright, but the arms and legs just feel a bit like you know, like he looks. Maybe it's just the paint out or the plastic because it doesn't have paint. Like, where these, you know, because it's still technically the same style of joints. So I don't know, it just looks cheap. Yeah, I get, I get what you mean. Like, I'm not having to dig out, yeah, the, like, because like, it's the same style of joints and stuff, sort of, I really. I think it looks yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, do, no, like, do I mean, I don't, know the, I don't know the character, so. Yeah, know, fair, like, fair enough. To be fair as well, so. But, like I said, I'm not, I'm not digging, like, it's still felt all right like it's still a legends i'll be honest i don't, I don't even, maybe it's the pain. like i don't even know if they've actually done a silver samurai figure some like in marvel legends before transformers suffer from that like where there's bits that they're just not painted or whatever it just i'm not yeah. saying it is cheap no it i get it, it look i get what of, you mean yeah that's only my opinion. I, I think i think it's a fair representation of the character though um oh he looks still yeah, yeah like i think it's pretty good I said the chest looks really <coughs> so he's got a sword, interesting to note. Yeah, see I'm not familiar with the storyline that that comes from. Um, I do like that Iceman comes with his own little ice sled. I mean... Would have been cool if he'd come with some out splayed hand so it could look like he's creating... Yeah, actually... <coughs> ...creating it, but other than that I don't have any complaints. Pretty awesome. And very, very uh, not super very translucent, nice. but it. I like that. I didn't know that. Wow. What? Yeah. See, like he's got different joints here, so his arms can swivel. Yeah. See where like he doesn't. Yeah, that that's the new Wolverine body that they've been using for uh, a little bit now. Yeah, nice. I like that. That's a nice little touch. Yeah. It, it's very, very good. So, uh, the brown suit Wolverine we've gotten, and what was the one before that? So, uh, brown suit Wolverine, uh, the yellow suit Wolverine, and the X-Force Wolverine, and I'm pretty sure the one that's just come in the recent uh, Hulk 80th Anniversary 2-pack, the first appearance Wolverine, uh, I'm pretty sure that's on the same body as well. It's a really, really good body. Um, that's why, that's one of the reasons I got the whole wave. I thought, well, I need a Dazzler. I don't have my old, I got rid of the original Dazzler that I had, uh, or the 80s Dazzler on the roller, the disco Dazzler on the roller skates. Um, I've got the last Iceman they did. Uh, so this is a more classic inspired one. Yeah. Uh, so that's cool, but I'll be honest, I think I like the other one I have on my shelf a bit more. Uh, but that's cool with his little, what do you think of his little ice sled? Yeah, no, I like it, honestly. Yeah. Like, you know me, I'm all about, <laughs> I'm all about the effects, yeah. man. Yeah, so. that's right. Um, and these lightning effects are perfect too. I've always, always thought these effects were stupid, uh, because I do have a Storm figure that already has them. And I'll be honest, I thought they were so terrible, but they work perfectly for this one because of the way they open up. You're not going to damage the little cloth bit here. That's what I was looking at yeah. before. Like, it is nice. Like, it's delicate, but they still have done well on the stitching and that how they've put it yeah. there. No, that's, that's awesome. I'm really, really happy with the storm. I think that's how he does it, isn't it? Oh, see, that looks awesome. Yeah, yeah. Like... Yeah. No, that's right. 
I, and I like that the extra head has like the. That's what I was saying yeah, before. Like that really can't weird. have this effect piece go in it, but it still has because this one's got a slot. Yeah. But it's still got nice energy. Yeah, I really like, like that little energy flailing. I mean, it won't focus, but you can clearly see that it's got yeah. little parts there coming out. And yeah, they are actually including this with uh, a classic, like. 90s Jim Lee style Wolverine, uh, sorry, Cyclops. That's the one in, in a three pack with Gene. It'll be that's uh, what I appreciate with all the SH Fig Arts and Figma. Like, that's what's brought to the table now. All these other companies starting to put these extras in. I don't don't mind that little mask he's got on it. Actually, it's, it's weird, but right. it's, it works. Yeah, like, it does. But yeah, like, I, you know, I like, I mean, don't get me wrong, Legends have occasionally always come with an effect or two, like, yeah, you know, some of them. Something. But now, a lot of figures, like, even, as it's you can see, this masterpiece practice. figure, like, you know, there, he's got an energy blast that comes with a cannon, you know, other effects as well, like, on this one, for example, he has a, like, uh, broken face, like, you know, and Starscream's head as well, so, yeah. I just like that other companies are now starting to do this in a regular, yeah. like you said, like that, like, that's fantastic that it comes with that lightning effect, like, yeah, it's just really nice, like, well, I'll be honest, like, I've had that lightning effect, but this is the third time I've had a Marvel Legends figure that that's been packed with. Yeah, I know they and, use, like, I've got some of these at home um, in my box, or yeah, anything like, you know. but honestly, it's almost like it was made specifically for this one, just because how nice and lightly. And it probably it comes was, but then they just used it for some other characters as well. Yeah, they probably had this one in the works for a while. They make it for one character especially, but then use it for others in other colours well, and stuff. Well, perhaps they've been slowly spreading out the figures we really want, so mm. they're like, oh, we want people to stay invested in the line, so we'll just we'll keep keep. That's, that is business. It let's is. Be honest. You it don't is. want to release all your best characters first. Um, but now we've touched on uh, the legends and gone over those. Do you want to jump into your stuff? Yeah. So obviously a very highly anticipated figure and spoke about on the internet. Yeah, you know, people are going crazy for. Some are going crazy. Others are, you know, crazily digging at it. It's all a mishmash at the moment. But yeah, yeah I mean. I think it's a fantastic figure. I did a video earlier today and transformed it live out of the box. First time took about half an hour. Yep. So he's yeah, he's quite complicated, but you know, even as you said when you first got here, you're like, wow, he finally looks like the cartoon. Yeah. And like, you know, that head there, even when you look so you can look straight up, yeah. like can still like if you really needed to pop the joint out to so it can move forward. So there's a lot of joints that they've still clicks in place but can unclick yeah. just for articulation purposes and you know, stuff yeah. like you know the arms how i said off camera before now are clicked in but you can still unclick them easily enough and move his arms right forward in case yeah. you know you need him to knuckle up or you know articulate his hands to do a bunch of other things the hands easily just pop off i realized like the other like filming like yep. on one of them well, it did before, yeah, and that's how then the axe will just straight away clip onto his hand. Yep. So I really like that, like, and it's, once again, it's just solid. Like, you know, it's just a really nice articulated figure. Yeah. Like, he can do the, the Jean-Claude Van Damme splits, so a uh, shot I'd really like to do is get two MP10 trucks and put the trucks side by side and get him doing the, you know, yep. the Jean-Claude, like, on the two yeah, cabs, cool. like, so that'll be a, a nice shot. If anyone steals that shot off me and does it first, now I'm coming for you. <laughs> like, but yeah, no, I'm, he I'm, says that he won't. No, I'm stoked to have it, and yeah, it like, like honestly, uh, my opinion as someone who doesn't collect Transformers and has only seen a good half of the original G1, um, it like it looks very, very faithful, uh, and it looks like a solid, solid figure. Like I myself, you remember when I was collecting Transformers mm. for a bit. I had MP10, the yeah. Toys R Us exclusive, and this, it, that MP10 just doesn't look, That's it. I'll, it's not even in the same league, and yeah. I'm not even someone, like, just as someone it's, who collects figures, exactly. and just looking at the design and the build, it, it's just a much solid figure, it's a much better figure, and I could see why... Uh, people are paying like seven hundred dollars yeah, Australian for it uh, on the secondary market. Yeah, it's a, like it's just fantastic, honestly. Like that's it. Like 
it's it's really good. I mean, I'm personally not really a big Transformer collector myself either. I sell everything off basically to get the Lewin Prime, which was in our last video, yep. <laughs> just for the fact of it's in scale with most of my other collection. But this was a Prime that I felt, yeah, just needs to be bought. Like, you know, it's the first time since the Transformers cartoon that Prime's finally looks how he should. I could see a lot of people that love Transformers but don't want to invest in the whole set perhaps getting the new Megatron and this yeah, we'd... and just having the two of those that look really good in a display yeah, together. Exactly and like people have dug on the backpack but I mean look at that on um, side proportion. I like, think it looks cool. That's, but that's pretty much in proportion to a back on a robot anyway really like they're not yeah you know, I don't I like complain them. but yeah great to have him lots of extra bits like a Starscream head for when Starscream was impersonating Optimus Prime and stuff that Lots of other good parts like roller. There's a little roller, but then um, there's a whole big attachment. See from the base yeah. for the roller. So yeah, what's excellent. what's this head here? Uh, damaged like uh, like when he's just about to die. Okay. So yeah, you can put that on when his face is all banged up, or it might just actually be from him fighting Megatron. I'm not sure. Like once again, I'm I'm the same. I'm not the hugest G1 fan. Like for me, really, that well, Unicron well, that's could, coming out could be used for. <laughs> for the, um, because I, I don't know if that was a specific G1 episode, but I do remember... It could be, see, because they do oh, yeah, I, stuff there. I do remember him almost getting destroyed in Beast Wars, yeah. like, well, while he's asleep. He's been banged up a few times, yeah. so, you know, but that's it, like, and, you know, I don't really collect Transformers myself now either. Yeah, just, um, Unicron, that new one coming out, and if that doesn't come out, I'm pretty much done supporting Hasbro anyway. What's that going to be, like, 800? Oh, sorry, Eight, it's I, a roughly 800 at EB Games. Yeah, so. I, because I saw it on EB today, or Zing, when I was and looking on the website, and it was, like, 840-something. Yeah, something. I think it's 840 or 870. It, but was, it was over 800. He's my ultimate Transformer, so that's all I need. And oh. if he doesn't happen, well, I can walk away now with what I've got and keep collecting Figma, Rebel Tech, SHF, yeah. and Macross. Understandable. Yeah. yeah. And then, so that's really it for me. So, what else did you get this week? Um, so, I just had a couple random pickups this week. Uh, one not so random, one I've been looking forward to. So, uh, the new volume of Dragon Ball Super has come out. I like the, the picture. Yeah, 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 it's a really good image. So, uh, what, what volume is that? Volume 8? Uh, yeah, eight part eight episodes yeah. ninety two to one hundred and four. Yeah, so um, that's the beginning of the tournament of power, um, and honestly, like the second episode of the tournament of power, I forgot. I'll be interested to see, like, hear <clears throat> some just, of the English voices. Yeah, it was just so. really good uh, watching all this in English for the first time. Yeah, some of the alien characters. It'll just well, be interesting to see what they voice them in English. Well, it was like a oh. year. Was it like a year or two? since this came like since these episodes came out in japanese so it's probably yeah. been it's, been it's probably bit. been well over a year or like it's been since yeah. they released since i've watched them so to go back and watch them again in english um Very it's been a real treat yeah. i've honestly enjoyed so much of this volume um it's a great series and saga they well, did well honestly like sometimes a, a new collection of super will come out and i I find I don't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed watching that particular part in, in Japanese. Japanese. Yeah. This, uh, on the other hand, I don't know whether it's just uh, I've been watching English, the English dub for long enough now that I'm just I'm, to it again, I, I'm yeah. accustomed to it. Um, but yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable, uh, and I feel like the cast for like the voice cast for like the universe six saiyans the females uh just really kills it in here doing some great work yeah, no. um just yeah really really enjoyable stuff yeah. uh and then uh i had a discount code i had to use yeah. at eb so i picked up the sega mega drive collection yeah, which is a great collection yeah well you and you and i have played the hell out of that on the playstation 3 together mm. Uh, so I saw that, I was like, oh yeah, I'll get that. Yeah, damn, it's got Shining Force and Shining Force 2. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to get it myself then. Golden Axe, Golden Axe 2, Golden Axe 3. Yeah, well, it was only 40 bucks. Yeah, wow. Well, and then it was uh, <clears throat> buy two, get one half price. So then I got two that were 40 bucks, and then got this one for half price, and then I got an additional 15% off on top oh, of that. Return to Arkham, uh, yeah, so that's just uh, the Return to Arkham set, so that's yeah. Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. Yeah, yeah, I know that one. 
Yeah, um, so yeah, nice. really keen to play through those this week. Uh, and I did want to quickly mention for anyone that's a fan of the original Jedi Outcast game, uh, Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast, uh, it's coming out to the PS4. Is it a remastered version or just a straight up just port? No, it's going to be, well, kind of remastered, updated graphics. They've redone, reworked the controls. Yeah, sweet. Um, it's yeah, so it, slightly touched up. Yeah, like, cool. slightly touched up um, and, you know, the graphics are up, oh, yeah, upped well. a bit uh, as much as they so can. So you'll up, be getting but, it. Oh, I'm super excited for it. So it's coming to the Switch, the PS4, and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it came to the Xbox on the same day, yeah. um, if they just rushed through the backwards compatibility for this, because I've been playing a lot of Jedi Academy, like I mentioned in our last episode, yeah. and uh, while I've been playing that, I've been thinking, oh, wow, I wish they'd do wait, yeah. give that that treatment. Uh, so now... If Xbox don't do it, I don't have to worry about it. And you can still get it somewhere else. And honestly, I play my PS4 more than I play my Xbox, so... It's a better system. It is, it is. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah. I do enjoy the PS4 more. Um, and then just quickly before we go, I also picked up uh, this, the Egyptian yeah. god gold tin. So was it like a booster pack in there? Or just uh, it has th had three 16-card booster packs. Yeah. Uh, and came with a heap of foils, so like uh, I got the Wing Dragon Ara yeah, and yeah, like so it was Blue, o set, Blue Eyes Ultimate Alternate Dragon or something, um, and a heap of other good cards. Lovely tin though, yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the tin's awesome. That was fifty yeah. percent of the reason why I bought it. I um, but I think that just about wraps it up for this week, um, and we're all caught up um, yeah. with two episodes this week, and uh, yeah, we'll jump back into it next week because Mazamasu's on the way. Excellent. So we'll have that for our next uh, video. I'm not sure if I'll have anything next week, but you never know. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you as always for joining us, guys. Uh, you can follow me at Facebook, uh, at on Facebook at Galagun Toys. And, uh, you can you can follow me on Facebook at um, Alutnarat Corporation, or you can find me over at Robo Toys, where there's me, myself, and Joel. Yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like down below, and if you're not already a subscriber, do hit that subscribe button. Thank you as always for watching, guys, and we will catch you next week. See you then. Bye for now.